Hi, this is George from Donzon.com, and uh, I, I wanted to add a video in here. Uh, uh, we've been doing some videos about the different tools of JWP, especially the ones used to find different kanji, but uh, I realized that uh, I might have neglected uh, one aspect of JWP, and that is the katakana. And I've been using a lot of hiragana in in the videos, and so I thought maybe we better just take a moment and uh, and talk about the katakana uh, before we get too far. And uh, so that's what this video is going to be about. The uh, the katakana, as I said before, are more square, kind of boxy looking phonetic symbols in Japanese than the hiragana, which are more curvy and flowing. Uh, for instance, if I want to, if I want to write out hiragana in in hiragana, it would look something like this: hira da na. And you see that the, it's rather rather flowing. Uh, on the other hand, if I want to write katakana in in um, in katakana, uh, it would look something like this: kata. Uh, na, and so you see, it's more angular and uh, and um, more square. There's some curves in there too, but uh, it's a little more uh, more angular than than the hiragana. So um, so how do you how do you enter it? Uh, if you're going to enter in JWP, if you want to enter something in hiragana, let's say like um, uh, oh, I don't know. Let's 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 do um, um, uh, Nihon. N I H O N, and that N at the end. I better hit the space bar <coughs> to to get that done. Nihon is the word that means Japan in Japanese. So. That would be Nihon, and if you want to, if you want to do that little exercise of of uh, selecting the the kana, the hiragana here, and then hitting the F2 or going up here, since now you can see it here, of um, uh, kanji convert, you'll see that that is the uh, those are the characters for uh, Nihon or Nippon. So um, anyway, let me do a. Actually, I'll use my undo, and we'll do it like that. Now, the only difference between typing in Nihon in hiragana and typing in Nihon in katakana is that you hold down the shift key when you're typing in katakana. So if I hold down the shift key throughout the entire N I H O N and then spacebar because of the N, that's what it's going to look like in katakana. Okay, so that's the um, that's the way you do that. Now, in in uh, the other t the other way that we use the shift key is if I'm going to type in Hiragana, so I'm going to type Nihon, and I want it to immediately convert into the kanji, then I would hold the shift key, type the N, release the shift key, and then type I H O N, and then spacebar, and then we get the, the Nippon. Or Nihon characters like that. Okay, and hit the return key. So that's how you that's how you enter um, katakana. You you do it all in uh, with the caps or with the shift key on. I suppose you could do it if you hit the caps key or the caps lock key, and then type N I. H O N spacebar. You wouldn't have to 
you wouldn't have to um, to uh, hold the shift key, but uh, then you might forget that the, the caps lock is on and have some problems later. So anyway, now one other thing about about uh, the difference between hiragana and katakana, and this is in uh, in general uh, today in the Japanese language, the the hiragana is used for Japanese words almost exclusively and for the particles that we talked about like the the wa or the ha and the ka and some of the other particles that we didn't talk about like no and and uh, ga and some of the other things um, uh, and uh, and a lot of the verbs like des or mas are uh, are written in in hiragana the the katakana today in 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 the modern time, the, the, the katakana is typically used for non-Japanese words. Um, let me give you a couple of examples of that. And that would be ka me ra. Ka me ra. And so this is the word for camera. In fact, if you, if you highlight that and then Hit the F6 key for the dictionary, or let me do it this way so you can see it. Okay, you'll see that that comes up as as camera. And so non-Japanese words, uh, we'll call them foreign words, are are written almost almost exclusively in katakana. Okay, uh, now that's not always true. Sometimes. Uh, to make uh, a, like a fashion statement or something, they'll write uh, they'll write Japanese words in in katakana to kind of uh, place emphasis on it. You see that sometimes on the Ginza, the shopping district in Tokyo. But um, anyway, so there's that, and uh, and and so you have all kinds of uh, uh, of words. For instance, this is this is a real famous one. You say. Be so boru, be so boru, and that is uh, um, the word that's used for baseball in in uh, in Japanese. Be so boru, uh, another one that's that's kind of fun is ma ku do na du. Do. Makudonaru do. And that's that's how they write uh, uh, McDonald's, the the uh, fast food restaurant in, in Japanese. Makudonaru do. So uh, anyway, that's that's uh, a real brief thing about about uh, the katakana. Uh, one other thing about about katakana that uh, now I've, I've been talking about the modern times. In uh, the older older times, and I, I'm I'm speaking now of before 1950, and and before 19, you know, back into the the uh, the 19th century and, and whatnot, that um, the 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 term the the katakana was used for Japanese terms as well, and for the for the um, um, for the particles. Uh, were often used uh, uh, by writing katakana, and typically, the katakana was more uh, male-oriented kind of writing. That the hiragana was more of a female type writing, the more flowing and and graceful writing of the hiragana was more for females versus versus male. Uh, again, not always the case, but uh, but it was typical to find that. So uh, in a lot of older documents, even the documents that I translated from the 1930s and 40s, uh, you see that frequently that they use they use the katakana <coughs> for for the uh, the particles and the verbs and things like that uh, in in um, in the documents. So. Anyway, just a brief look at uh, uh, about katakana, and so I hope that was helpful.